Hi everyone, Rachel Johnson here, broker owner of Luna Realty Belize in the beautiful country of Belize. We are answering question 91 today of our In the Inbox series, and we're going to be talking more about infrastructure on Ambergris Key, utilities, specifically water. And this question is, where does the water come from? This is from Sally specifically on Ambergris Key. So we're going to start off with the public water. So there's a public water company here called BWS, and they run public water and sewage for a part of the island. Where you see this blue oval is the area that BWS currently services. So it goes slightly north of the bridge and then south around the Las Brisas area. Uh, their rates, I would say, are quite affordable. Obviously, it's going to be depending on your consumption and the numbers that you see here on the screen are in Belize dollars. So if you're using up to 1,000 gallons per month, you're looking at a bill of about 26 Belize dollars, about US dollars. Obviously, it's going to go up from there. And your minimum bill that you're going to get is about $26 billion, again, $13 US. But of course, again, that depends entirely on your consumption. Now, where you see that red pin, that is the location of the BWS water treatment facility. So in the facility, it's a desalination and reverse osmosis plant. And then in that area also is where you have the sewage ponds. So right now, we can see that only a portion of the island is serviced with public water. There have been conversations about plans to improve the water services. People do tend to note that during high season and during peak peak times of the year, like Christmas and Easter, if you're on public water and you're on a higher floor condo or you have a home that has multiple floors, as you continue to go up, the water pressure isn't necessarily as strong as it is during times that are a little bit slower. So what they've been talking about here with BWS is finding a way to improve that water pressure. Now, in addition to that, uh, we have had people ask questions about if the water from B BWS is potable, and uh, it is. You see that it was it goes through reverse osmosis, and it also goes through desalination process. However, it may not necessarily taste good. Also, we don't necessarily know the condition that the pipes are in that it's running through. So we tend to just use it to brush our teeth or to take showers, wash dishes. But for anything that you're going to drink, we tend to use the five gallon crystal bottles. Those cost about $6 Belize per five gallons, so about $3 US to get that all filled up. Now, people also tend to add filters underneath their sinks if they wanna be able to drink the water that's coming out directly from their sink. However, if you are in a location that is not on public water uh, and public sewage, you're going to be relying on your own system. And this is nothing new for the island. In fact, this is how you're gonna find many of the homes are built here even some homes that are on public water. They do tend to also have rainwater catchment. So you'll have that big cistern collecting the rainwater that's coming in. And then from there, you can add a reverse osmosis or desalination system if you're collecting it from the ocean. Uh, and then some people do also have wells. However, you'll see they're not as common here uh, because of going around the island, they're not entirely sure how deep to go, just depending on where you are. And there's also not the equipment readily available to be digging wells. So you will tend to find that the water catchment tends to be sufficient. Now, if for some reason your cistern isn't big enough and you do run out of water, there are water trucks that will deliver water to you. So it's not like you're necessarily going to be out of water, but this tends to be the one that we see the most. Now, with that being said, because a majority of the island, as you can see here on the map, is not on public water, if you're building a home, contractors are used to doing off-grid systems or systems where you're not going to be hooked up to BWS. So in addition to that, they'll each have individual septic systems. There are multiple septic systems out there. These are two of the approved that you will find here on the island or are commonly used. But again, you'll talk to your contractor if you are looking to build. If you're going to be owning a home outside of the public water and outside of public BWS, just confirm what system they're using so that you know how to maintain it down the line. And again, some people even who are within that oval do tend to have their own systems or perhaps they'll have a, a rainwater catchment as a backup just in case the water pressure from BWS is low. Now do remember this is a developing country, so it's not uncommon for the water pressure to be low, especially during peak season, or uh, for you to have to get a little creative with your system or to be okay even with being on this off-grid and on your own system. Uh, personally, so we live north of the bridge, so we don't have BWS. I do have a condo that is connected to BWS. And uh, I will tell you that I learned my lesson of having a second system if you are initially connected to BWS because it, it's not always uh, reliable. But with that being said, it works a majority of the time. But again, we are in a developing country. There is a, definitely a need for improvement with BWS. However, it has been recognized and the town is working towards a solution there. 
So if you are planning to spend some more time in Belize, please do reach out to us. We'll send you an e-guide. It's lifestyle guide, things that you need to know, like residency programs in Belize or how to ship items down to Belize. These are helpful things for you as you are planning to enjoy more time here in this beautiful country. My name is Rachel Jensen. If you're looking at real estate here in Belize, please do reach out. We have an incredible team here on Ambergris who is here to help you and to make sure that we are finding that perfect property for you. Thanks for tuning in to this session of In the Inbox, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. Bye, everyone.